The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today I'm on the Greenline 48 Fly with Hybrid Drive. Now, of course, that Hybrid Drive has a lot to do with the handling characteristics and performance of the boat, but as we'll soon see, it also plays a big part in the features on the boat. So join me as I do a full features inspection. The Greenlight 48 Fly Hybrid concept is about a different boating experience than most of us are used to. First, the salon feels open and larger than it really is because of the 6 foot 9 inch overhead and the huge windows that come all the way down to the tops of the port and starboard settees. Secondly, the boat is quiet because there's no generator running even though we have air conditioning on and we're not hooked up to shore power. Thirdly is the ride quality, but that will have to wait for our performance video. Be sure to look for it. To port is a U-shaped settee surrounding a walnut table on a double pedestal which easily expands from cocktail party mode to dinner party mode. The rich grained wood has a matte finish and in the middle is a reversible panel to include a beverage holder. To starboard a love seat creates opposing seating and behind there's a 40 inch TV on an electric lift. There's a remote control for the lift but we like the physical switch alongside because it won't get lost or need batteries. A hatch in the wood grain deck lifts up to access a utility room which houses a washer dryer combo and space for an optional freezer. The C-shaped galley is really the epicenter of this boat because during the day everyone comes here for food and refreshment at one time or another. When serving it's handy to the salon, aft deck and even the ladder to the flying bridge. With all of the inserts in place the solid surface countertop has a large food prep area. We like the raised lip on the edge. With the covers off we find a storage compartment, two deep sinks, and a two burner electric stovetop. Overhead is a storage cabinet and below the sink is a dishwasher, microwave oven and plenty of drawer storage. Opposite is a pantry and a full size refrigerator freezer. Behind the two burner stove is a large backsplash that serves double duty. Release the aft window which rises on gas assist struts and fold out the backsplash to create a serving bar for the aft deck. From the outside bar it's only a few steps to the optional teak table with flip over cup holders and a long bench seat. Above we have wide protection from the sun with 6 feet 10 inches of headroom and we can activate an electrically actuated shade that further covers the lounge and swim platform. The shade can be activated via an electrical switch or a remote control. To starboard is a 21 inch wide walkway with two 6 inch steps leading down to the optional hydraulic swim platform. This platform is 4 feet 4 and aft and nearly full beam. It lowers into the water to launch a tender but on a hot day using it as a private beach is just a thing. Two steps help guests back aboard where they're met with a shower wand to rinse off. Moving forward up to the foredeck we like that the 17 inch wide side decks include overhead protection and fiberglass bulwarks that extend up 30 inches and then 36 inches to the handhold rails. The main feature on the foredeck is this triple wide sun pad which has a lot of functionality. It comes with built in cup holders and there's a folding awning for shade. The aft section lifts to create a chaise lounge and a forward section can be turned into a bench seat on the front of the trunk cabin. Under it is a window that lets natural light into the master. Stairs from the aft deck take us up to the flybridge to a large entertaining area with a teak table and a large U-shaped settee on the starboard side. Opposite is a port side fiberglass counter covering an electric row wood sink. Under that is a refrigerator and a place for a wastebasket. The forward backrest of the settee flips aft to create a forward facing seat for guests to keep the captain company. Our vessel had the optional hardtop with 6 feet 5 inches of headroom. Aft is a large sun pad which measures 73 inches by 62 inches. Notice as we walk forward the main deck is all on one level. Just a few steps down the companionway and we come to the forward master stateroom. Light fills this stateroom from three side windows in the trunk cabin and four opening port lights even though the overhead hatch was covered up by the bow sun pad. There's 6 feet 8 inches of standing headroom in this cabin with 3 feet 11 inches of clearance over the berth. The bed measures 83 inches by 75 inches. Steps on either side make side entry easy. Greenline used the bow flare for cabinetry and cubbies port and starboard that provide much appreciated stowage. Notice how one of the port lights there's a shelf with fiddle to put cell phones, watches and stuff. On the aft port side bulkhead is a 24 inch TV. There are two hanging lockers in addition to an assortment of options for overhead storage. Now our vessel had a fixed double berth but Greenline offers a split V berth that can be closed to form a double as a more versatile option. The 48 utilizes a split head arrangement. To starboard is a door to the water closet with sink, cabinet storage and opening port light and opposite is a separate shower stall with bench seat. 
The guest staterooms share a mirrored layout with a hanging locker, ensuite wet head, twin berths, and a large window. In the starboard stateroom, there's 6 feet 7 inches of headroom as we walk in, but that shrinks as we step down between the beds. There's 33 inches over the berths. The double berths measure 32 inches by 77 inches, and that's a good width as we sometimes see beds as narrow as 23 inches in some surprisingly prestigious brands. There's a charging station and climate control set into the bulkhead between the beds and adjustable reading lights at the head of the beds. A storage compartment is positioned between the beds which are 9 inches apart. There's good light in this cabin thanks to the side window down low and an opening one that is above the hanging locker. Looking forward from the head of the bed, we see a full length mirror on the back of the entry door and access to the private head. The guest head on our test boat was divided into two sections with a toilet and wash basin in one section and a separate shower stall with bench in another. The shower has its own light, seat and an overhead window. It's not a large space but it's big enough to move around in and this is an optional layout. This head is shared by both guest staterooms through access in the passageway and also serves as a day head. Moving across the passageway to the port side guest room, we can see that it is virtually identical to the other cabin. There's a hanging locker and drawers below. The overhead is more open in this cabin and has 7 feet 8 inches of headroom by the door with 58 inches from the outboard bed to the overhead. Now, I said before that the hybrid drive has a lot to do with the features of this boat, and most of that takes place right here. I mean, we're at 92% on the batteries. This boat has spent four days at a boat show. We've been at it all day with one of the four air conditioners running, all the lights burning, plus the refrigeration, and we're still at 92%. That's because there are six solar panels on the roof putting out 350 watts each, so we can keep this up for probably months at a time without ever pulling into a marina, without ever connecting to shore power or running a generator. And that is a smart move on Greenline's part. And that's my full features inspection of the Greenline 48 Fly with Hybrid Drive. For Boatest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.